I bet you a thousand dollars that you thought quitting alcohol would be easy. You know, once you just stop the booze, life would be great. Well, let me tell you something. Quitting alcohol when you're addicted to alcohol and you have alcoholism or alcohol use disorder is probably one of the hardest things you will ever do in your life. I know it was for myself. To quit the addictive life was so difficult. To design a life for myself without the use and abuse of alcohol. So in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you a little about how you can sort of soften the blow of quitting. What you can do to help yourself stay stopped one day at a time, okay? The first one I wanna talk about is withdrawal, okay? Alcoholism is one of the only drugs, alcohol is one of the only drugs that you can die from, from withdrawals, okay? So before you quit or do anything to stop drinking, go and see your doctor and make sure they're aware that you're quitting alcohol. Tell them the truth, how much you're drinking. Let them know how long you're drinking, all that kind of stuff, for they can help you out. Because there's drugs that they can give you, medication that they can give you to help you with the physical withdrawals. Because the physical withdrawals can give you heart attack, can kill you, it really can, okay? So that's the first thing you do, is talk to a professional addiction counselor, a medical doctor to give you some assistance and or some advice to help you withdraw from alcohol, okay? There's a, a video up top here to explain the withdrawals, what you go through, what you can expect from withdrawing from alcohol. Is tell your close people around you, tell your parents, your family, your wife or your husband, your partner, some close friends that you're going to stop drinking. You're going to do this, okay? So they're aware and they can watch watch out for you give you some support in that area of quitting drinking so telling your significant circle of friends and family is a great idea another great idea is what i strongly suggest is get rid of all the alcohol out of your house i don't care what it is cooking alcohol rubbing alcohol listerine with you know 40 percent alcohol in it every the nick every bit of alcohol that you have in your house wine spirits sh whatever it is get rid of it get it out of your house make your house your safe spot okay talk to your spouse talk to your kids whoever is drinking in that house if they could get rid of their alcohol also out of that house just for the time being okay because you want somewhere where you can go and be safe and you know there's no alcohol especially if you're having a hard day or a stressful event is occurring in your life. The second thing you wanna do, and it's kind of the hardest, not, not really the hardest, a lot of it is hard. Get rid of your old drinking buddies, okay? When we sober up, we lose a lot of friends. We lose a lot of friends. We lose a lot of drinking buddies. So people who you drank alcoholic with, alcoholically with, is alcoholically actually a word? Yeah, I think it is. Don't associate with anymore. Don't, don't go around them because that will be a huge trigger for you to go around people that you drank with. That would be gigantic. So change your friends, okay? That'll, be a, that'll make life a little lonely at the start, but it's a really great idea. Don't go back to your old drinking haunts, your old bars or wherever you used to drink. I don't know about you, drink in the park. I used to drink camping. Well, I drank everywhere. Drank, drank and drove, you name it. Just don't go back to those places because they will trigger you to drink. They will trigger you to drink, okay? So they're kind of the obvious ones, right? Now let's do a little, little flip side. What you want to do also is get some support for your drinking recovery. Get some support for that, okay? What you want to do is maybe draw, join a 12-step group, a smart recovery group. I know there's lots of churches that have church groups that are based on quitting drinking. There's a lot of support out there for people who want to quit addiction, alcohol addiction, drug addiction, whatever your addiction is, there's a lot of support. So join a group, get involved in that group. That'll take place of the friends that you lost. That'll keep you occupied, okay? And if they have any, you know, volunteer positions that they need filled, you might want to do those too to keep you occupied. And go to those meetings as often as you can 
during the week, okay, on your off times. Another one you could do, what I did also, is I found a mentor, sponsor, somebody you could talk to on a more intimate level. That'll help you with your more, you know, those thoughts in your head that you don't want to share with people in groups. You know what I'm talking about, those crazy thoughts you might get and be ashamed to, to share with somebody. So finding a mentor or a sponsor in your organization that you, you join, your group that you join to get sober is a really good one too. Another one is that I strongly suggest is get yourself a counselor or a therapist. I know some of us can't afford it. At work, they have EA, EAP, employment assistant programs. I know so social assistance, you can get help. And there's help that you can get is on scales of your income or what you can afford to pay per visit. So try and reach out or just use your benefits at work if you have any. Reach out and get some counseling. That'll help you with it too, okay? It really, really will. Okay, eat properly, sleep properly, get some exercise, all those kind of things. When we quit, so, when we quit drinking, when we start being, so, get sober or be in recovery, we are changing our lives 180 degrees. Alcohol took so much away from us, it separates us from our emotions, our true self, with the way we think, you name it, okay? But there's one thing about being in recovery that's really terrific. There's tons of people that will help you. I don't care if you have financial difficulties, difficulties at work. When you tell people that you are sobering up, you're gonna do something about their lives. Number one, they already know. Number two, number two, they're gonna support you. Majority of people will have your back and help you through the process because that's the way humans are. When we see somebody trying to help themselves, hey, everybody gets behind that individual to help them out. And the last one I wanna tell you that's really important, that's really important, go easy on yourself. Go easy on yourself. It's gonna be hard. No ifs or buts, it's going to be difficult. And just take it one day at a time. One day at a time. Emotional difficulties, stress at work, all those kind of things, just take it a day at a time. Alcohol ruined our lives. It took us, some of us, years to get where we are today, and it's gonna take a while to come back from all that. But recovery is not impossible. It's not impossible. And it took a while for me, but the things that I'm telling you in this video are suggesting are things that mostly that I do to this day, okay? And the most important ones are, I go to meetings, I have support, I have a mentor, I have a therapist, sometimes I go and visit. I do all the stuff that I'm telling you that I do in this video, okay? My name is Terry G. This is the un... I was gonna say something else. It was the old title of my channel. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you can take a second, subscribe. Take another second, hit that like button. But do me a favor. Do me a favor. Go easy on yourself, okay? Just go easy on yourself. You deserve a great, big, joyous, and free and happy life. You really do, okay? Remember, freedom is sobriety. Sub freedom is sobriety, okay? Ciao for now. I'll talk to you soon. See you next week. Ciao.